All right, good evening, everybody. Let's see who's here so I can say hello. Andy Morrison, what's up, bro? Thank you. Mark, Allison, how are you guys? Jim, Dino, my man. Hi, Mom. <laughs> Hi, Jenny, Aunt Naomi, Uncle Adrian, what's up? What's up, y'all? So good to be back again, another Wednesday night. You're listening to uh, my first record that I put out. It's called Leroy. It's a track called Hurts Me Too. You're going to hear this a little later tonight. And introducing tonight my friend who's joining me tonight. The first time we have a guest here in the basement on this series. That's Chris Vitarello, everybody. A good, good friend of mine. We've done so many gigs together. And um, I'm sure I'm happy to have him here. It's going to be really good. So let's give everybody a couple more minutes to join us. Uh, you saw me hold up my please share with friends sign. So now would be a good time to invite your friends to join us. Um, they can interact with you while you're at home and watching. It's kind of a cool thing. We appreciate you spreading the word. It gathers a, an audience for us. And I have a feeling people aren't gonna wanna miss this one tonight. So share it out to your friends and family and let's see who we can get in with us tonight. Yeah. Without further ado, we're gonna get started with you. Ooh. Twin keys. Let me check the tuning right quick. One second, these finicky, <laughs> finicky vintage guitars in the vintage basement. You know how it is, folks. I don't play anything that was built after 1965, except my drums are newer. But anyway, what we got tonight are vintage matching K swing masters. Pretty, pretty cool. If you can see behind us, we got the matching Premier amps too. So this should be very fun. And uh, hey, if Mark Rajinsky, you're watching tonight, you can, you have my permission to let me know if anything's too loud. <laughs> Special permission given to select few. <laughs> Love is real, not fair. 
fade away Love is real, not fade away Not fade away Welcome again, everyone. So good to be here again. Hi, Gladys. Hi, Rappiners. Lanny Mitchell, Luigi, my dudes. Good to see you guys in the house. Falvies, yes. Matt Falvey? Matt Falvey, yeah. School. Yeah. Hey, hey, say hi to Matt Falvey, Chris. Holy family in the house. Wow. That's a blast from the past. Yeah. Wow, that's cool. So, all right. Um, I guess we'll talk a little bit more. We'll keep the music rolling for you here. Grateful Dead, Blues and Country Night, here live from the Vintage Basement. Oh, yeah. We're going to have this have an RV. Hey, Jenny, are you watching? Could you do me a favor and call Cool Guy John? Can you call Cool Guy John and Cindy and tell them that we're doing a Grateful Dead thing tonight? I forgot to let him know. And I hope he's watching, because this one's for him. This one's for Cool Guy John. <laughs> you can catch it on the flip side, John, if you, if you have to watch it later. These posts remain, so you can watch them at your leisure at any time. This one's for Cool Guy. Told me to. Well, my mama 
told me and my papa told me too And I shouldn't be here trying to sing these railroad blues Wish I had not listened to what my mama said Wish I had not listened to what my mama said Trying to sleep in this cold island bed. Yes, the jailer go away now and don't you tell me no lies. Mr. Jailer, go away now and don't you tell me no lies. Cause when the train rolled down, she's rolling down the line. Come on, man. in a little bit. I have a lot to talk about usually, so brace yourselves. <laughs> brace yourselves, Jenny. <laughs> I'll try to keep it, I'll try to keep it uh, concise as possible. For anybody who might be running on the treadmill, uh, listening to the music like I do, I know I'm like, all right, fellas, stop talking, keep up the music. So I'll, I'll do my best. Cold rain and snow. That. Coming back 
curly yellow hair here, people. Seth Walker's in the house. Oh, my God. What's up, Seth? You know Seth Walker's music? Yes, I do. Oh, my God. So good. One of my favorites. Yo, y'all, while you're, well, Seth Walker's in the house. Go check out his music after this. Oh, my gosh. I'll tell you what. Love you, bro. Miss you. Aunt Barb, hi. Yeah. Sorry. Aunt Kathy, happy birthday. Shout out to Aunt Kathy. Woohoo! Happy so birthday. Cool. <laughs> I set myself up to the left so I can clear my throat to the left. It's all good, man. Um. <laughs> so, anyway, everybody, welcome again to Live from the Vintage Basement. My name is Michael Bram. This is my good friend Chris Vitarello joining me tonight. Yes, so good to have him here. Um, a little history about Chris. Chris, um, I met many, many years ago through the Westchester, New York blues scene, um, New York City blues scene. Um, and we started doing gigs with a mutual friend of ours, Dennis Grundling, who's a very well-known harmonica player. And I don't know how many years ago now, Chris? 15, 20? Between 15 and 20 years. Back in the old tap house days, you know, where a, a, a lot of us uh, in this area met through that scene. And then Chris and I have since done many, many gigs 
uh, all, you know, all around the state, a lot of times at BB King's down in New York City, Dinosaur Barbecue, um, and man, Chris, a, a very, very accomplished musician, one of the best musicians I know. Played many, many years with the Bruce Katz Band, uh, many, many years with the Chris O'Leary Band, yeah. and most recently with the Butch Trucks Freight Train Band, uh, which has uh, featured the the late great Butch Trucks on drums from the Allman Brothers, and uh, you know, right out of that Allman Brothers scene. So very, very cool to have my old buddy Chris here to um, to be featured here live on the Vintage Basement, um, like I've been doing every Wednesday night. And it is such a pleasure to have you all here. Join me each week. I thank you so much for everybody's support during these really weird, weird, weird times. Um, you know, I mentioned before that this is a virtual gig. Um, we're doing the best we can with what we got here in this situation. That's been my, my phrase that kind of goes along with live from the vintage basement. Doing the best you can with what you got. And uh, that's a life lesson for you, this, you know, monkey wrench in the whole system. So we're doing it this way um, in lieu of a real gig. So I bring your attention to the virtual tip cup, which is there not as an obligation, but if you're feeling giving, uh, we're most, uh, most grateful for that. Um, I'll obviously be sharing that with my friend here, Chris. And uh, so anything that comes this way, we'll be supporting live music. Um, also, you should know I have three CDs for sale. So if you would like something in addition to this live performance for your money, $25 will get you all three of my CDs, and I'll be happy to mail them to you. Now would be a great time for your support. And um, that's the end of my speech for now, because I know somebody's got to run on the treadmill. <laughs> and yeah, the theme behind tonight's gig was... Uh, the blues and country music of the Grateful Dead. And I guess I could talk a little bit more about that in a little bit. But since it is about the blues of the Grateful Dead, why don't, why don't we do a blues, man? Right? Yeah. So the Grateful Dead over the years went through uh, some personnel changes. You know, they were, had a keyboard player curse, if you will. And uh, the original band featured Pigpen, Ron Pigpen McKernan, who was a big blues influence on the band at the time. So we're gonna do one of Pigpen's. Via Lightning Hopkins. Thank you. 
The blues, nothing but the blues, people. Gotta love it. You know, one of the beautiful things about the Grateful Dead, and I've, I've said this many, many times, uh, the Grateful Dead is my number one influence in music, my favorite band of all time. And the reason is um, they, they had a, an amazing way of, of pulling from every angle of, of um, I don't know if you call it American music or roots music, but they had a real wide, um, a, a wide array of influences. And the blues is one of their huge influences. I never would have known who Lightning Hopkins was if it wasn't for the Grateful Dead, or guys like Muddy Waters, or Howlin' Wolf, or many of the other tunes that they did that were um, old classic covers like that. And they introduced me personally to a, to a lot of music uh, like that. And I, I suppose a lot of other people as well. Once you start getting into their music, you realize, oh, where did, the, where did those songs come from, you know? I heard that one on Bear's Choice, ni uh, a 1973 release of a, of a Fillmore East 1970 show or something. And, you know, it's just one of those things as a kid, you hear that music and you're like, where did that come from? So the Grateful Dead, huge influence on me. And uh, yeah, where this music came from, that's one of the things. I always read the liner notes. Who sang this one? Oh, how cool. And did you tell me? Uh... Right. Uh, I think we, I'm not sure who, who did, did, this, did this one. We, we looked it up, and it, it, there was a version by Lee Dorsey. So I'm not sure if it's Lee Dorsey or, or Alan Toussaint, or it's some New Orleans thing that the Jerry Garcia band did. And uh, we're going to try it out.
Well, get out my eyes, teardrops. I got to see my way around. Get out my eyes, teardrops. Nothing but heartaches by the pound. Get out my life, woman. Anthony Levis, thank you very much for that compliment, man. I'm, I'm working hard over here, trying to make it sound good, trying to make a good presentation, trying to have good, uh, trying to uh, emote, uh, emote in a good way, uh, trying to somehow be clear in what I'm trying to say. <laughs> it's not always easy. <laughs> thank you, Tony. Tony's a good friend of mine. Oh, is that, is that the other guy who used to come in here with the gate? Is that Tony? Tony Levis, actually. Tony Levis used to play in Curtis's band, uh, Blues oh. Depot. Oh, all right. Yeah, I don't, and I'm not sure I, I, I know. This is a good story. Can I tell a story? Yeah. Chris Vitarello, everybody. Chris Vitarello, my man. Go ahead, tell a story. You guys got to check out Mike's basement. It's the best. I don't want to leave. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to leave, dude. Uh, so talking about vintage stuff and vintage vibe that Mike, Mike has lots of beautiful instruments and amps and, and guitars. My very, very first vintage guitar, um, my wife bought me from Tony Levis, and it was my red 65 Strat. And oh, that, no that way. Kinda, that kind of started. It was our first year anniversary, and I was good friends, still good friends with Tony, and I'd go and hang at his house, and they, like, made a deal, and that wow. was my first. So thanks, Tony. That's a perfect segue to talk about these guitars that we're playing here. The first time I saw one of these K Swingmasters was uh, on the recording session we did, Chris, um, which also is a good time to mention that I do have CDs for sale. Everybody features Chris Vitarello on guitar. Two CDs that I have, Chris is on guitar, so now would be a good time to purchase them. You can just send $25 to the virtual tip cup. And uh, if you're feeling supportive, please help living artists out, this is a good time. But uh, now back to what I was saying about these guitars. On that session for Michael Bram and the Alternators record, Chris brought in his K Swingmaster. Or maybe he even brought it to a, a, a gig before that, I, I don't think so. I think he brought it to the session and I, and I specifically asked him to do this like Howlin', uh, Hollywood Fats sound lick, you know? And my God, I fell in love with this guitar and I said, oh, I have to get one. So I found one and I bought it. And it's been like, you know, one of my workhorse guitars for many years. So now, check it out, the, the meeting of brother guitars. Holy cow, this is so cool. As a, as a music nerd and a, and a gear, uh, you know, nerd, I don't really know like technicals or whatever, but just to love this shit. This is freaking cool. Kleenex box. My guess, that's right. Bring your attention to the Kleenex box pickups. Here, I'll, I'll bring you a close view. Right quick. Look at that thing! <laughs> yeah! Yeah, man. 
it's really a work of art. I mean, this, this guitar. Such a cool guitar. And also, if you uh, pay attention to behind us, we have these matching. These are both my my uh, amplifiers here. The Premier 120. They're from 1957. Very cool sounding amps. And I have my reverb. Uh, this is the rig I've been playing on every week um, here at live, in, live at the Vintage Basement. Every week I play this rig here. And I actually, it's one of those things. I love this thing so much. I saw another one on eBay go up for 500 bucks. And I said, oh, I'm buying it now. So I bought a second one. And then I started thinking, oh, Chris V and I ought to get together and play twin guitars and twin amps. Wouldn't that be cool? And then I came up with this idea of doing uh, some Grateful Dead stuff because part of uh, Chris's individual history and my history is that Chris played in the Butch Trucks Freight Train Band, which is out of the Allman Brothers world. And I'm very fortunate and grateful to be involved with the Weight Band, who's, who come out of the, the band and leave on Helm world. Um, so we're like, you know, we're, we're related musically. And the Grateful Dead is kind of common ground for both of those bands. So I figure people who love the Allman Brothers and people who love the band may also love the Grateful Dead. And this is kind of a cool thing. Also being that Chris and I met in the blues. So if we focus on the, basically the blues and the country of the Grateful Dead, we're, we're doing something that's sort of in between all that stuff, and it sort of makes sense to me. So anyway, I think that's a cool story. Matching guitars, matching amps, Grateful Dead, and our history, it's just a beautiful thing. And you know, another thing I, I'll, I'll say before we continue with some music is that history and friends and memories, and these are things that I've been touching on and talking about uh, as I've been doing this um, series, that those are the, the, the fabric of our, of our lives, everybody's lives. Um, you, you pick up people and friends along the way and experiences. And I mean, me personally, I, uh, it's like, I mean, I just cherish so many moments in my life and I, I keep them, you know, I try to keep them present in my mind. Like I've mentioned before, people who I might not have spoken to in many, many years, I remember these experiences so clearly and, you know, uh, whether or not they know it or not, um, I'd like to mention to the people who are watching, if we've shared any times, uh, good times, gigs, traveling, uh, you know, anything like that, I cherish those moments. I keep little mementos, like as I collect things on the road or whatever, I keep them, and I have things all over the vintage basements surrounding me to keep that vibe and, and those thoughts going. So I'm just grateful for all those memories. Hey, Chris V, I'll point out, there, you see? From oh, that cool. Katona live gig we did. Uh, I remember that, yeah. yeah. So uh, anyway, yeah, so welcome to the Vintage Basement once again, and I really truly hope that we're able to get back to, uh, back out to the people or back to the point where I can have everybody here. How many people are here now? Let's see, let's click that button. It can't be that. Yeah, I don't know. I had a point, and then I, I went to look for this thing. I freaking lost it, so whatever. <laughs> You're talking about connections and little mementos and all those things. Yeah, yeah. So I don't know. However many people are here, I guarantee I have something uh, in this room that reminds me of you. So let's see. What, what can we do next, Chris V? Oh, you know what? While we're talking about it, why don't we, turn, why don't we have Chris V sing us a song? Since we're talking about the Allman Brothers, why don't we do... Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it all, my brothers. So we figure we're going to do the blues and country of the Grateful Dead, but we have to touch upon some Almond Brothers and some band music as well. So. And how about I go? Thank you. 
Last Sunday morning sunshine felt like rain. The week before things don't seem the same. With the help from God and true friends come to realize I got two strong legs, even wings to fly. Meanwhile I ain't wasting time no more. Time goes by like pouring rain, much faster things. Lord, Lord, Miss Sally, now why are you crying? Well, it's been three long days. Looks like we're dying. Won't you step outside? Look up at the skies above. Come on downtown, baby, and find someone to love. Meanwhile, I ain't wasting time no more. Time goes by like one ring, much faster than. If you don't see what you want, you find out if you want. You leave your mind alone, just get high. All right now, oh yes, you just get high. Thank you. 
Yeah, nice one, brother. Thanks, man. Chris Vitarello, everybody. Man. <laughs> yes! Oh, God, good times. Man, I had so many, so many good, good times on stage with this guy right here. Um, and, you know, what I was saying to Chris before is that we would get on stage, um, and we, we always had great guys with us, you know. Um, Brett Rothenhaus and, and Brendan O'Grady were usually with us. And just to be able to let guys be who they are, and we would just, like, let things fly and, you know, just ma you know, definitely magic would happen, just that uh, synchronicity. And, uh, and we, got, we got weird at times, and that was cool. That's like the Grateful Dead were not afraid to get weird. So um, I, I try to not be afraid <laughs> to get weird. And uh, sometimes with, with, with these guys, it was, it was easy to, to, to trust. You know what I'm saying? That's another thing. We talk about with, with music and musicians that you hang out with and that you play with. If you, you know, sometimes you gotta like work for the, the, the trust, you know what I mean? And that's kind of uh, difficult. When it happens like automatically, when you can like, when you connect with a musician that's like uh, simpatico or whatever, like you can not even know them b beforehand. And then you just have a, um, this feeling of trust when, they, when you hear each other, really hear each other. Um, that's when the best music happens, that, that trust to like, you know, I trust you to do what you're gonna do, it's good. And that is the best way to make music. Miles Davis wrote about that. Mm -hmm. And uh, I don't know, I just think that's a cool thing. And I try, that's, that's the musical environment that I always wanna be in. And I, that's why I was always fun, and is always fun to play with you, man. Li li likewise, man, because we could. You put out that vibe right away. Yeah, thanks, brother. You know? Well, why don't we do a, a country tune? Let's do some country music. What do you think? Sure. See all this? Hey, uh, I just realized before that you all can see my feet because my camera is a little farther back than it usually is to, to fit everybody, and I'm not wearing shoes. So I'd like to formally apologize to my sister-in-law, Sue. Sorry, Sue. <laughs> well, she just says, my, Michael, wear, put sneakers on, Michael. And, and then I moved the camera, then you couldn't see my feet, and it was great. But now I moved it back, and now you can see my feet. And I see my freaking white socks here, and it's bugging me out. <laughs> Coffee in the basement, man. Uh-oh, got to tune this up. We'll do one more song and then we'll do that. For those of you who are waiting to have a, to have a toast and have a drink, we're gonna do one more song and then we'll do our nine o'clock shot, all right? We've been doing this uh, every week and nine o'clock, we usually take a break for a quick libation. We'll get to that. around that fretboard man, all right. <laughs> find me in Rosa's cantina, music would play and Felina would whirl. Blacker than night were the eyes of Felina, wicked and evil while casting a spell. My love was strong for this Mexican maiden, I was in love but in vain I could tell. One night a while, a young cowboy came in, wild as the West Texas wind. Dashing in daring, a drink he was sharing with wicked Felina, the girl that I loved. 
So in anger I challenge his right For the love of this maiden Now in his hand for the gun that he wore A challenge was answered in less than a heartbeat The handsome young stranger lay dead on the floor Just for a moment, I stood there in silence, shocked by the foul, evil deed I had done. Many thoughts raced through my mind as I stood there. I had but one chance, and that was to run. Out through the back door of roses I ran, out where the horses were tied. The good one, it looked like he could run Upon his back and away I did ride Just as fast as I could From the West Texas town of El Paso All through the badlands of New Mexico Since I've seen the young maiden, my love is stronger than my fear of death. I saddled up and away I did go, riding alone in the dark. Maybe tomorrow a bullet may find me, but tonight nothing's worse than this pain in my heart. And at last, here I am on the hill overlooking El Paso. I can see Rosa's cantina below. sing that already? I th think I did. <laughs> My love is strong and it pushes me onward. Down off the hill to Felina I go. Off to my right I see five mounted cowboys. Off to my left ride a dozen or more. Shouting and shooting, I can't let them catch me. I've got to make it to Rose's back door. Something is dreadfully wrong, for I feel the deep burning pain in my side. It's getting harder to stay in the saddle. I'm getting weary, unable to ride. But my love for Felina is strong, and I rise where I've fallen. Though I am weary, I can't stop to rest. I see the white puff of smoke from the rifle. I feel the bullet go deep in my chest. From out of nowhere, Felina has found me brushing my cheek as she kneels by my side. Cradled by two loving arms that I'll die for, little kiss and Felina good.
Marty Rob, Marty Rob. That's right. Grab a bourbon. It's time. Who wants to have a drink? I do. <laughs> Won't you join me, people? Let's have a let's have a quick one here. Yeah, that's that's that there. And uh, hand me a, hand me a shot glass. Oh, bring something. We're down to low the, the dregs. Woodford Rye, but uh, let's see. All right, bring that's yourself good, a little shot glass. <laughs> Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Thanks for having hey, us. man, to you, Chris V. And thank you, Jenny. Thanks, Jenny. Um, so, yeah, what I've been saying is, too. Everybody's health and happiness and your prosperity and your happiness and your health. Double happiness, double health, peace and love. Be your most best soulful self and do the best you can with what you got. All those positive things. Drink up. Cheers. I love you. Thank you for joining us again. Did Sue say anything about my socks? Oh, S Sue's not watching. Boo. <laughs> you got a shout out and everything. All right, so let's see. That was some country. Let's do it. Yeah. Similar, similar story book tune. I love those songs that like tell a story like that last one, El Paso. What a cool. Oh, you know what? No, change, 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 change the plan. We'll do. Um... Let's do. Um, let's do the new ride. The, uh, the new ride is the end of that. Oh, okay. It's the G to the F. so cool because after a little quick meeting we'll do uh, one of my favorites I've been doing this one every week and it seems to work perfectly in this set here's one by new riders of the purple sage which if you know your grateful dead history you'll know that Jerry Garcia played pedal steel guitar in this band on their first record and this one oh we got a special delivery here oh, real quick thank you. Thank you. This one is called Henry. Jeff Ross, I'm not sure if you're out there tonight, but if you are, this one's for you, brother. Jeff Ross, one of my friends out in Nantucket, he does a live broadcast every Wednesday evening, around six or seven o'clock. Go check him out. There's tons of music out there. I'll tell you more a little bit about that. But I know Jeff Ross, my dude out there in Nantucket, loves this one. This one's called Henry. Mountain 
going fast, fast, fast. And if it blows it, this one's gonna be his last. Home to Acapulco to turn the golden keys. Henry, keep the brakes on for this corner if you please. When he turned his truck around He's talking with the man Who's got it growing from the ground Henry tasted, he got wasted Couldn't even see And how he's gonna drive like that Is not too clear to me And now he's rolling down the mountain Going fast, fast, fast And if it blows it This one's gonna be Acapulco to turn the golden keys. Henry, keep the brakes on for this corner if you please. so much everybody and again I'm so glad everybody's here joining us once again for a very special edition of live from the vintage basement featuring my good friend Chris Vitarello on guitar Chris Vitarello from the Chris O'Leary band from the Bruce Katz band and from Butch Trucks and the Freight Train band my good friend also Chris Vitarello from Michael Bram and the alternators uh, yeah, which you can buy uh, my CDs tonight. It would be a, a very helpful and um, you know, it would be a, a great way to support live music, living artists. Chris, Chris, uh, Chris V over here is on two of my CDs, so if you like the, the guitar playing and you like the music, now would be a great time to purchase the CDs if you don't have them. Even if you do have them, buy them for somebody else. Um, or if you don't have a CD player, buy them and put them on your coffee table and use them as fancy coasters. And then when you listen to it for free on Spotify, you can just put your coffee on the CD. So. <laughs> yeah. can you say, we gotta do at least one Michael Bram tune tonight. Come on. Uh, 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 I know uh, it's a dead vibe, but. All right, all right. If, uh, <laughs> Especially again, again, again on the spot. All right, well, let's do, let's do that. Let's do it. It don't matter where you get your yeah. coffee from. I was thinking the same. Swamp, swamp, full, full swamp. Get as swampy as you want. So Chris V wants to hear, it don't matter where you get your appetite as long as you eat at home. So 
Uh, we did it. We, we did two different versions. We did a more twist type version of it, and then we swamped it out when we got got working with Dave Gross. Um, so, and before before we do this, um, I just want to mention. I, I know I mentioned the CDs and the virtual tip cup. I also want to mention that if you you, it's great that you communicate with your friends that that are that are here. You can you know you can send them love and say, hey, I see you. That's awesome. Hey. Um, we saw Shoji out in Japan. Hey, Shoji, my man. So, you know, when you see your friends, make sure you say hello. Um, also, you have the opportunity to help me and Chris and get this out to a few more people. Right now, we got about 70 people watching. And if you would just go ahead and click the share button down at the bottom and share it with your friends. If you only click that share button, it'll go up on your page and get to the people that you're connected with that I might not be connected with. And that would be a, a very good way to get this out to as many people as we can. And uh, yeah, I, I even made a good sign. I mean, it's not so good. It's a little dank, dank ass. But please, share with your friends. Look, you got a little doobie. Share with your friends. And you know what? So Somewhere around here is a nicer sign that my daughter made. But that that's the... She's a better artist than I am. But uh, anyhow, share it out with your friends and that would be, that would be great. Thank you. Yeah. Um, what did I say we were going to do? Appetite. Oh, yeah. And without further ado, here is one of uh, original tunes. The only original you hear tonight. Actually, it seems to be like sometimes that's the only original tune you hear on other nights, too. But... <laughs> the floor Now with the way she shake I can't sleep at night You know the little girl's gonna start it by It don't matter where you get your appetite As long as you eat at home Well, hey, little baby if looks can kill You'll be knocking me dead Until I get my fill You've been batting your eyes At me all night But with my baby at home We you know we just ain't right It don't matter where you get your appetite as long as you eat at home As long as you eat at home Come on, man! As 
people we went up to 85 people during that song look at that it's awesome hello everybody so cool of you to join us here in in the vintage basement we're doing this every Wednesday night I've been uh, going every Wednesday night since somewhere in the middle of March once I I got over the hump and got a little more comfortable with uh, presenting something online and uh, it's gotten uh, I've gotten more and more experience, getting more and more comfortable, learning more each week, um, hopefully getting better, um, and now opening it up to having good friends of mine join me and maybe turn this into a, a whole other thing. And uh, so Chris V and I, uh, you know, we're going to try to do this out in the public once, we, once we're able to, or once we get uh, the right kind of opportunities to do that in a safe manner. But um, Hopefully sometime this summer you could see us out there, maybe at an outdoor venue or something. Let us know if anybody's interested, and uh, you know how to get in touch with us. Just get in touch with us some way. Um, but uh, anyway, rambling, rambling. We do social distancing parties very well. That's right. Chris says, we do social distancing p parties very well. Yes, yes we do. <laughs> so, call me. Anyhow. That was a swamp. Oh, yeah, 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 let's do this. Oh, I have all kinds of notes here. It's terrible. And my hands are sticky. Oh, let's do this. This will be cool. Let's try this. Great thing about these amps, the hotter they get, the warmer that they get. The better they sound I mean, until, they, until they blow up. <laughs> until they blow up. I remember Ronnie, uh, Bruce used to tell me that Ronnie Earl used to request on his gig if he was playing somewhere afar and he didn't have an amp, he would request a, a super reverb or a, a twin that was warm. Ah, oh, wow. How about that? Yeah. So let's do a. Let's try. Sugary. Ah, it's got the E. The E. Yeah. And then uh, F sharp minor in the chorus. <laughs> Just 
don't tell them you know me Shake it, shake it, sugary Just don't tell them you know me Thought you were the cool fool You never could do no wrong Had everything sewn up tight How come you lay awake all night long Just one thing I ask of you just one thing for me Please forget you knew my name My darling Sugary Shake it, shake it Sugary Just don't tell them you know me Shake it, shake it Sugary, just don't tell her you know me. Come on, man. Stand out in the pouring rain. One last voice is calling you, and I guess it's time you go. Just one thing I ask of you, just one thing for me. Sugary, shake it, shake it, sugary. Just don't tell I'm you know me. Shake it, shake it, sugary. Just don't tell I'm you know. Meet 
you on the run Just one thing I ask of you Just one thing for me Please forget you know my name My darling Sugary Shake it, shake it Sugary Just don't tell them you know me Shake it, shake it Get sugary Just don't tell them you know me Shake it, shake it Sugary Just don't tell them you know me Shake it, shake it Sugary Just don't tell them you know I feel like that was the first Grateful Dead song I ever fell in love with. Um, oh my God, see, this is one of those things. Mom, you still out there? Dad, you still out there? Um, what were their names? Evan and Renee? Evan and Renee, what were their last names? I just remember like I was four years old. We just moved to Long Island. Maybe I was five years old and uh, my mom and dad made these friends through, through mutual friends, and the husband was a big Grateful Dead fan. And I just remember being like enraptured by this steal your face emblem and just really digging that. And he, you know, and he turned, put that record on and said, here, dig this. And I just remember Sugary being a main track on there. I mean, it's not one of their best records, to be honest, steal your face. But um, Sugary is on that. And, uh, and then from there, I think my, my, my uncle, my uncle Scott gave me the Europe 72 album and Working Man's Dead. And then uh, I brought the copy of Europe 72 into my kindergarten show and tell. Just to, just to let you know how far back my, my twisted love for the Grateful Dead goes back. <laughs> and you know, listening to them for so many years and um you know my father was a big uh, big deadhead and he started going to shows god knows sometime in the 80s or before that and, or at least i became conscious of him going to the shows in the 80s and i used to beg him oh man please please let me go i just want to see them so bad i just know it's like a crazy scene and i just want to see the music and and uh, finally he my dad my mom and my dad got me tickets you know they brought me to to a show March 29th, 1990 was my first Grateful Dead show. Uh, I only got to see Brent Midland one time, but um, that was the, the night that they brought Brantford Marsalis out for that fantastic Eyes of the World and uh, Dark Star and all kinds of great stuff. And from that moment on, I got crazy into collecting the bootlegs and, and, and all this stuff. And, uh, and man, I could just tell you so many stories of, uh, you know, Maybe I should keep some of them private. <laughs> uh, well, well, uh, <laughs> dad, I don't want to get you in trouble, but uh, my, my dad used to sneak off and, and, and then come back and be like, I had to get a pencil to write on the set list. <laughs> uh, I just remember my friends got a kick out of that. Or then when I started, you know, doing what you do at the, at the dead shows a little too early and like trying to turn my back to my dad, you know. And then he freaking hip checked me like a hockey player. Like, Blam! The hell are you doing? <laughs> uh, and then, you know, uh, coming of age and, and, and then going to see the Grateful Dead again with my father when I was probably 18 years old, 1995. The last show we saw at Highgate. Um, but man, many, many, many shows. And I 
love the Grateful Dead so much. I miss them. And uh, yeah, what, what else can I say? Sugary is groovy, man. So let's do, uh, oh yeah. This one's Mr. Charlie, it's in A. Take a little powder, I take a little salt, put it in the shotgun, and I go walking out, chuba chuba, chuba chuba, roll it, roll it, looking high, looking low, gonna stare you up and shoot you, Mr. Charlie told me so. Mr. Charlie 
Charlie told me, Mr. Charlie told me so. Mr. Charlie, Pigpen, Europe 72. So uh, I will say, if you don't have Grateful Dead, Europe 72, uh, man, you just go ahead and listen to it for free on Spotify after you buy my CD. <laughs> but, you know, uh, was that funny? Yeah, I don't know. I thought it was funny. Anyway, for us, yeah, for us it's funny. Europe 72, you got to hear it. It is quintessential Grateful Dead. So influential in my life, that record. Man, how about Chris V on guitar, everybody? So good. Hey, Dean, you thought that was funny, right? Yes, my brother. See, somebody, somebody, somebody thinks I'm funny. Thank you, bro. I try to tell Jenny all the time. I'm, I'm funny. What are you talking about? I'm funny. <laughs> right, Jenny? <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> uh, Jenny and Ella are upstairs watching. So, Chris, what Chris and I joked about is we're down here in the vintage basement playing old guitars and two bams that, 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 that smell like old Sears catalogs and can sometimes smell like a Grateful Dead concert down here and just a completely different vibe. And they're up there, air stre uh, streaming. Ha ha Wait. So I'm using all this old stuff, presenting it in this weird new way with this modern technology. And they're upstairs uh, watching it on their phone. And then what, are the, what do you call that? Airplay to the, to the Apple TV? Uh, this is like completely different worlds downstairs and upstairs. And uh, hey, Elle, you want to say hi to people on the, on the screen? Say hi to Ella, everybody. Ella's here. When was the first time you heard The Grateful Dead? Before you were born? Before I was born. Definitely. We were, we were piping, we were, we, were, we were sending Grateful Dead music to, to, uh, to mommy's tummy back, back before you were born. You see our... <laughs> That's Jerry. Say hi to Jerry and Ella, everybody. Let's see. What? Uh, oh, I know what. Uh, I know what I wanted to do, but if I can, I if I can't find the music, I'm gonna go back to West LA. That's what I'm looking for. Yeah. How could I not find this? Oh, there it is. All right. Well. Well, we're, you know, it's 10 to 10. We're going to go maybe, a, you know, a little bit longer, play a few more songs for you. But again, don't forget that uh, CDs are for sale. Virtual Tip Cup is open. We, uh, uh, nothing is an obligation. The show is free. But if you like what you're hearing, um, any, any little bit helps in these strange times. Um, Chris and I were just talking about the, you know, the uh, sporadic gigging that's happening now. We went from being busy all the time to, um, you know, a couple of things are popping up outdoors, but, but we're not really back at full, full steam, and who knows when that's going to be. So we're doing this in lieu of a real show, and I'm selling CDs and all that stuff and just doing the best I can with what I got. So any support and any help at this time is most appreciated. It's, it's not an obligation, but, uh, but uh, we really feel it and appreciate it when you do. And... Um, and uh, yeah, well, I do try to uh, send everybody a little thank you and a little acknowledgement. It takes me a little time sometimes, but I see everybody's uh, thing and I try to acknowledge, uh, you know, I really appreciate it so much. So uh, thank you just for being here. Your eyes and your ears are really important. I love that people come back each week. Make sure you share it with your friends each time you come. Push the share button now. We've got a little bit of time left. Um, there's so much music happening in, these we in, in this weird uh, time. You know, musicians are doing things from their home, and there's a lot of choices for you to see music. So I thank you for choosing me tonight. Um, I know I've been watching lots of my friends that are doing their thing. Um, most recently, 
Oh my God, a hero of mine, Kim Wilson with Nathan James and the Rhythm Scratchers. Some of the best blues you'll ever hear. Um, so I have to go ahead and, give, uh, and show them my love and support. Mikey Jr. every week, every Wednesday night at five o'clock, I believe. Five o'clock, Mikey Jr. every Wednesday. Another great friend of mine does great music. Jeff Ross out in Nantucket, Los Tex Maniacs, Johnny Nicholas out in Austin, Texas. Uh, I, Dennis Grunling is doing a thing, Tunes Day, where he, we, both Chris and I have collaborated with him. So there's lots of different um, music choices, and you know, we're all just doing the best we can with what we got. So thank you for choosing us tonight. We really appreciate it. And uh, we'll keep things going for you with some more Groovy Dead Man. Thank you. 
to We're silly fade away We're silly fade away Little red light on the highway Big green light on the speedway something that my low battery sign just came up so we're running out of time here folks hold on one second what I was saying before Ella was about to uh, uh, un un unplug my, my my sound thing to plug in my charger but I'd rather the thing run out of batteries and sound good the whole the whole way Yeah, Jeff Ross, I see you're there, brother. Right on, indeed. Now, at the end of this night, I go back and I make sure I critique uh, my playing, my singing, my sound balance and all that stuff. So, uh, and I will make sure I look at all your comments and I try to communicate as best as I can. So keep the comments going, keep the likes coming, the hearts coming, the shares going and all that stuff. And make sure you come back and join me each week, every Wednesday night, live from the Vintage Basement. Um, I'm gonna try to have other guests join me in the future. I'm just uh, pondering the ifs and I can figure all that out. Uh, eventually we'll do a live thing from the top of my garage, which is outside. So uh, all kinds of possibilities, uh, upgrade on the camera stuff. I'm just watching other guys do this thing and there's amazing stuff happening. Victor Wainwright, probably the highest quality thing I've seen. Now, have you seen Victor's thing? Is that freaking amazing? Now he does it like once a month, I guess, and like, um, yeah, but his thing is really well thought out. Um, so anyway, lots of great stuff out there for you to check out. Victor Wainwright, go check that out if you haven't. Um, amazing stuff. So I'm looking up to uh, these guys for inspiration and try to fix my thing and get better each time. And uh, yeah, so you can find me here every Wednesday night live from the Vintage Basement. Tell your friends, come back each week, visit the Virtual Tip Cup, buy some CDs and all that stuff. And make sure you go to Chris Vitarello's page. He's got a personal page and an artist page. Go find him on Facebook. Give his page a uh, an artist his artist page a like and all that stuff and follow him and you can find out when he'll be playing with uh, many of the fantastic bands that, that he works with. Hardworking guy right here, Chris Vitarello. Yes, so happy to have him here. And uh, ooh, let's see. Sorry, there's so many different things to look at, make sure the angle's right, don't cut anything. Ah, oh, blah, 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 blah. We did that. Oh, we're gonna do that too. Wait a minute. Let's do some Jimmy Reed, bro. What do you, what do you think? The Grateful Dead did a lot of blues and a lot of country music. And so we're trying to represent that a little bit tonight. And with a, with a couple of left turns, you know, we did some almond stuff and some, some more groovy type dead stuff, man. 
But the Grateful oh. Dead, sure, did a lot of blues. Another thought that just popped into my head um, while I'm tuning this. The Grateful Dead, so many memories, and uh, when, when I started working with Jason Mraz in 2007, um, and I, I worked with him for many years, up in, you know, we just, uh, we just did an, another tour. Uh, I don't know when we finished it up, but, but about a year ago, I did some uh, stuff with him. So there'll be stuff with Mraz in the future, but once we started really getting, getting busy and his, and his hit, I'm Yours, started taking off, and we started playing bigger and bigger venues, I found myself in venues that the Grateful Dead were that had they had played and that I had bootlegs of, and you know, finding myself on the stage at at Red Rocks blew my mind. Just the just that venue alone, but knowing that the Grateful Dead had so many legendary shows there, um, where, where where else was I thinking? Uh, the Greek Theater, Berkeley, California. That place always blew my mind. We played there several times with Mraz and. Uh, Wow, it just always freaked me out to be on the same stage that I knew that the boys had been on um, when the weight band played at the Capitol Theater this past December, you know, and they got a, they got a portrait of Jerry right there before you go on stage, so he's like watching over you. Um, yeah, man, what a trip. What a long, strange trip it's been, right? But anyway, those memories, I, I love them, I love them. Is this thing in tune? <laughs> Son of a bitch. Anyway, some blues from the Grateful Dead. Another one for Cool Guy John if you're out there.
gonna get me a boss man One gonna treat me right One work hard in the daytime We know we straw gets stoned at night Big boss man Can't you hear me when I call? Get down there, brother. Down to 10% on the, on the battery here. Wow. That was like three octaves down. Well, look, we're going to do one more real quick, and we're going to sign off. And uh, man, once again, thank you so very much for joining me here live from the Vintage Basement every Wednesday night. I'm going to be doing it again next week. And uh, after tonight, I'll be thinking about who my, who my next special guest is and when the next time I'll be getting together with my good buddy, Chris Fitarello on guitar, everybody. Chris Fitarello. So lucky to have him here. So lucky to play music with him for so many years and, uh, and to have so many good memories of gigging. My brother, thank you so much. Matching K Swing Masters and matching premier amps that is cool we're gonna do this again hopefully on a stage somewhere and hopefully out in the public somewhere where you all can come see us in the flesh but until then look for me here live from the vintage basement every wednesday night chris v thank you man we'll do this again next time you see me things won't be the same what do you think uh, from the five in a one two three uh. Next time you see me, things won't be the same. Next time you see me, things won't be the same. And if it hurts you, my darling, you only got yourself to blame. Well, I got you a true say. 
all that shines it like gold. Yeah, like a true, true say, all that shines it like gold. Now the good book says you gotta be just what you sow. Well, you lied, cheated, what for so long? Well, you lied, cheated, what for so long? You wrongdoing woman, gotta let me come through your door. basement. Again, that's Chris Vitarello. My name is Michael Bram. Don't forget to visit the, the virtual tip cup. Buy a CD, $25. We'll get you all three CDs. Make sure you leave your address. And I'll send it right out to you. And we'll be doing this again, all right? Good night, everybody. Be your most soulful selves out there. Do the best you can with what you got. All right. Good night, everybody. Thank you so much. <laughs>